down. Oh. All right, there we go. Uh, always say them, know that from my family, the drunken Puerto Rican chef family, and my family family, Swiney Smith, Dampierre Strickland, Moody, Coleman, and Batch, and we are always with you, alongside of you, praying for you, rocking with you, going through this with you. You are not alone. Let God continue to fight this fight for you, with you, and know that this too shall pass. All right, let's get it. Crack a lack 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 and in. Crack a lack a lack a lack a lack a lack and in. All right, y'all ready? I, look, I got my hair tied. I'm ghetto today. I'm like super big ghetto today. Oh, my bad. I had to cover it. I had to cover so I don't look as fat. I don't look as fat. No, I'm just playing. Uh, oh, and my Clayton family. My apologies. I almost did forget. So da -da -da, today we are going to be making, well, so this week we are going to do what better than repurpose Thanksgiving dinner. How was you all's Thanksgiving, by the way? Was it good? Was it fun? Did we eat a lot of chitlins and turkey and ham and, you know, whatever else you cooked for Thanksgiving? I don't know what all you guys cooked, but was it good? Like, did it put you in the food mood? Did it put you in the food coma? Did you spend it with family? Did you do it virtually like we? Or did you do it um, drive-by, also like we did? How was it? I hope everybody's was absolutely amazing. Mine was filming with you guys, fun with my family, and then passed the fuck out. Super passed out, like big time. Um, so we are going to, it's now the week after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was last Thursday. You got leftover food because everybody didn't make enough plates to go home with them. So now what do you do with all your food? You figure out how to reuse it so all that food does not go to waste. So that's what we're going to be doing this week. Right? Right. Uh, we love you guys, too. I can't wait to see you guys when y'all get here. So today, my loves, I covered my nipples up. I hope this is a little bit better for y'all, okay? I'm trying to be like, but I don't like bras. I'm not a fan of them. I don't wear them too often. Don't judge me. Don't be mad. So what we're going to make today. We are going to repurpose our Thanksgiving turkey. So I have a little turkey left, as you guys can see. Very little. Well, it looks like a lot, but it's, it's actually not very much. Most of that is bone, and it's that's saved for my dogs. We are going to repurpose our turkey, and we are going to repurpose the last little bit of stuffing, which was a stuffing and dressing mixture that we had made. We're going to repurpose the both and create a turkey croquette. A turkey croquette. All right. This is going to be a lot of fun. So sit back. Hoop, Lily. I got to fight a child. I got to fight a child. Yes, you did. Where them damn crackers at? Where my crackers at? Where my crackers at, Lily? Where my put my crackers at? I need my crackers, Lily. And you done ate me out of box and home. Bring my back. Put my foot. Put my damn it crackers that she didn't ate every damn cracker I got in the house, y'all. She is a trip. I went to go get it. I'm looking for the shit. It's gone. Because we even took them and walked the hell off with it. Uh, now, for our drink. Good. I'm glad it was good. Well, how was y'all's? Hey, handsome. You tried to call me the other day, and I was literally in a meeting. Could not pick that shit up to save my life. And then my memory is absolutely horrible. I forgot that you had tried to call, so I forgot to call back. I didn't see it till today. Oh, there's your dog. I told you he would come home. Okay. I didn't see it till today. Where? And he's at the front door because his little ass wouldn't get back in. Teach your ass to run out the house when I open up the damn garage. Bet you won't do that shit no more. Uh, but I will make sure, please remind me before the end of the show. Please just remind me. All right. Uh, I would drink. What up, Mr. Felder? I would drink for the day. We. I bet your little ass won't run out that house again when I tell you to keep your ass in this house. Now, would you? Talking to the dog, y'all. Talking to the dog. Talking to the dog. All right. We are going to make, so the salmon croquette, well, the salmon stuffing croquette, and then our drink, we are going, well, I'm going to have a little wine, but I'm going to switch it up on y'all ass. I am not doing my normal Pinot Grigio. We're going to do a little red. I'm going to do a little cab, a little cabernet. 
So I had a Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon. I love. I'm going to just take it's bitter. We'll dry. Like my Pinot Grigio. It's just technically Pinot Noir is Pinot Grigio's red sister, but I can't stand Pinot Noir. Something about the grapes they use. It just doesn't taste good. Mm. I got a pot of water boiling because I'm going to make a mashed red potato. Oh, I had to drop that in there so I had to burn it out of myself. And out of myself. I'm losing my mind. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, sorry, y'all. I am checking to see if I had empty of my French onion left, which it don't look like I do. So I'm gonna use some bread. All right. Oh, I keep forgetting our drink. We are going to make a mai tai. We are going to make a mai tai. For our Mai Tai, we are going to cheat. We are going to use the actual Tom Collins Mai Tai mix. So that gets rid of the Orget. It's O-R-G-E-A-T, Orget, um, that they use when they make this. You need light and dark rum. Hi, Bianca. You need light and dark rum. Um, but I'm going to switch mine up. I'm going to use a little tequila. Hey. Tequila. You never go wrong with tequila. But I'm still doing rum. I'm still doing rum. Dark rum. Um, I'm, I'm doing dark rum and kind of lightish reposado for my tequila. Because it's a cross between light and dark. It's not light. It's not dark. But that's just to give my Mai Tai an extra kick. We have already decorated our glass and frozen it. So, we made caramel, a spiced caramel to go around our glass. We let it seal in the freezer. Oh my God, so much fun. And it's fun for you to play with as you drink. Oh my God. Let me see if I can get them loose. Ah, there we go. We made these little bitty, uh, they, didn't, they didn't fully freeze, so I'm gonna just put that one in there. It has a little bit of light rum and a little bit of tequila made into ice with a little bit of water to make an ice cube. Seemed like fun. We made about three or four of them, but eh, they're not fully frozen. I did it late, I was moving around late. My bad. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on a drink. You're gonna pour about two ounces into the bottom of the glass, okay? Next, grab your light and dark rum or like me, tequila, tequila and rum, and you're gonna pour about out. Maybe I should do this here. Hold on, let me do this for y'all. Pour an ounce of that in there. Pour an ounce of this in there. I can get me. All right. We got a line for garnish. Okay. You are going to also need orange juice or orange caraco. If you got that, use the orange caraco. Okay. But if not, use the orange juice. Yep. Yep. What's wrong, baby? You're scaring me. So you say, oh, mom, and then you say, hold on, dead, dead. Okay, you have one day. I have one day? Yes, to get these. We'll, we'll send her, like, uh, Something you want for Christmas? Yeah, send her, like, uh, um. Uh, 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 I'm listening to her, y'all. Maraschino cherry juice. My son literally ate every damn cherry out of here. We were going to caramelize the cherry for the drink. But since he decided that we're not going to put it in there, it's gone now. Now, 
the last thing if you want to is you can add you can add a splash of uh uh coke if you want coca-cola or something like that what up mr rob mvp williams in the building you guys he's one of the baddest mixologists or the baddest uh, mixologist in the game stationed stations sorry that's military talk out in arlington texas Y'all look him up. If you guys need a signature drink or anything like that, you need to find him. He is on Instagram. He is on the Book of Face. We're going to hit it with just a little bit of wine. And he is a friend. And he is my babe. And he is absolutely gorgeous. And you guys send prayers his way um, as his family suffered a loss. Um. They definitely need the prayers, you know. Y'all understand when you're going through and when you're losing and when shit happens, like, it's a lot. So just keep him, his family, and thoughts, in you all's thoughts, in you all's prayers, in your mind all together, okay? All right. All right, sorry, I had to add some more water to keep my Thai basil going. Normally, I would tell you to garnish this with um, mint to be kind of fruity. Um, we are gonna, I wanna be a little bit extra. And since I'm using my Thai basil, also in my, that one's not. Um, also in my uh, meal today, in my croquet, I want to Garnish with it just to be cute. Now be careful about where you grab the glass because you got that caramel all the way around, okay? Mm. Well, all right now. Um, I will be, if you guys want to make any donations to Rob, to Mr. Williams and his family, I will be posting a link on the page after the show um, and you guys can donate um, and it'll go directly to him and his family um, throughout their time of loss throughout the holiday season. Oh, yeah. Well, mm. Mm. did you figure it out yet, baby? Did you figure it out yet? Mm hmm. Now, so let's get started. And I'm going to show that's what I would, damn it, y'all. It's actually really cute. It is like a watermelon. It's like a All right, sorry. I keep, I want to make sure. Okay. Here's what we need. All right, so, turkey. Uh, thank you, love. Turkey, turkey, turkey. I don't know how many of y'all made it. We did a hickory smoked turkey on the grill. We did with a wet rub, which was delish. I think we showed that to you guys on the show. It was absolutely, but it still is good. Sorry. Best thing about, oh, that's all bone. Best thing about using a wet rug um, is it sinks into the meat while it's cooking. So it kind of, you see that? Where it kind of looks like charred? That's actually the rug. See? And you can peel it back and it leaves that beautiful coloring on the skin. See? And it leaves that beautiful coloring. That is all seasoning and baby, it tastes amazing. I don't know about y'all. I'm big on the skin. I don't know about y'all. I'm big on the skin. I like the skin. All right, so that should be enough. Let me get some. To feed the dog. Mm. I don't know 
what dive hunter is, baby? That's not Can you come put this bone in the? Ball. Come put this bone in meat in uh, Marsh's bowl. So he has some something to eat. My dog eat good around here, y'all. I have to buy a little bag. I got a Chihuahua. I buy a little bag of. Looking at Hunter X Hunter. Okay. That's what it's I don't know what the hell that is, baby, but okay. Um, I buy a little. I have a Chihuahua, so I buy a little acid dog food. But he eats since I cook. I cook for my dogs, and I cook for my dog and for my kids. Put this back in the refrigerator for me, Mama. Till I break that down some more. Um, so. He eats good. They they fool eats eat. Unless you want me to put it out the bottle. Yeah, you can do that. I fool eats eats. Every time I cut something, I try and remember to make it so that he can eat it. Even with spice, he eats spice. Don't don't bullshit with it. He eats spice. What up? Hey, Mr. Taylor, how are you? Hey, Miss Cole, how are you? Okay, so what y'all see me doing? Y'all notice. Y'all notice I do not, I don't, okay, baby, I don't, I don't know what that is. I do not have um, any seasoning out here. There's no need. Everything has been pre-seasoned, pre-cooked. There ain't no need for me to do anything extra to it. All I'm doing is chopping it down a little bit. You need a blender or a food processor for this part, okay? Now, oh, that's what's up. That's my damn face. Oh, sorry, y'all. I don't know y'all over here. Can y'all still see me? You're gonna need. I'm using my food processor for this. Okay. Your meat, which was moist before, as it has sat in the refrigerator, has sucked up the moisture. We're gonna reintroduce that moisture in just a minute. So don't nobody freak the fuck out. Okay. I'm gonna keep drinking. Hmm. This caramel is fun to play with, especially with your tongue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's good. All right. So we're going to take our turkey. If I can get that smaller. And we are going to put it over into the food processor. Okay. Huh? Again, you don't need no seasoning. If you add seasoning right now, this shit's going. You're going to nine times out of ten make your food extra fucking salty because it's already been cooked the first time with seasoning. Why in hell would you add more seasoning to it? Two stuff. Okay, I gotta take some. It's too stuffed. It. Hold on. You gotta be careful when you're using a food processor about over stuffing it. You gotta make sure it's hooking on all the way. All right, so we're gonna put some in, and we'll put some more in in just a minute. Let's start with that. Grind it down. Hey, Sheila. You wanna chop it real fine. You wanna blend it or dice it real fine, and that's what this is going for. You. All right. See how that looks. Mm. Oh my. And we're going to dump it in our bowl. And then we're going to do the rest. All right. Let's make sure we have it enough. Now, we're going to add the rest of our meat. This time, however, all right, I want you to take. Some Thai basil, about a sprig. See? I am not, I'm just going to pull the leaves off and drop them in here. 
I'm gonna take that little piece of stem off of the longer part, thicker part of me. I'm gonna take that out. I'm also going to add a stalk of celery, okay? And yes, I have pre-rinsed the celery, so I'm just not gonna rinse it again. I'm gonna just go ahead with the process so y'all can see it. Ooh. Okay, y'all should be good. Now, you don't have to cut this perfectly because you're about to sew it on in here with this meat, okay? So just make it chunk down enough so that you can get it in there. Same thing. Cut. Maybe two quarter inch thick slices of your onion. And drop that down in there. Okay, get it, baby. Get it. Oh, I thought you was juking with it. Oh, I thought we was juking with it. All right, same thing. Parsley. Chop about a third of a cup. Like such. And put that down in there, too. Okay. This is how you just kick the same meal into reboot. High gear, new gear, new gear, high gear, new gear. You know, make it taste good. You're doing something different. Oh, last but not least, I want just a smidge of spice, something spice, and nothing nice. Gotta think twice. We are cooking salmon croquettes today, babe. Hey, hey, hey. We're gonna drop that down in there. We're gonna do that. Now this part is gonna take a little bit longer than just the meat because you added other shit. So you gotta give it time to blend, work all that through. Stop if you need to, like I'm doing, which you may need to do. And just bring down the edges in around. You see me doing what I'm doing? And then blend it again. That way you're making sure everything gets down in there. Hold on, I'm about to drink. And one more again. And I'm just making sure that everything is getting blended. That's what I forgot to tell you guys. The link you see, the link that you all see is the link to my YouTube channel. <laughs> sure. To my baby's YouTube channel. It is the link to um indulgences holiday giveaway or the drunken Puerto Rican chef. But my restaurant is actually called Indulgence or actually now Damien's How does place. This work, mommy? It won't work without this. this. Um, and so the link that you guys see in the comments, that is how whatever single mother you know, that is how you um, get her into the contest. Have her go on. It allows her to um, come through. And sorry, I'm chewing. Do our submission through Facebook, her or it, whatever. Remember the criteria? Remember the criteria? No, nothing. Remember the criteria: single, single parent, mother, father, foster parent, or guardian. The they'll hit the link. It'll allow them to um, apply either via email or via Facebook. They can write their submission in no more than 175 words, or they can record a video which is fine in the video they need to include um first last name and in the written first last name address phone number and what um in the the drawer over here and whether they want the cooked dinner or the non-cooked dinner and then tell us why they deserve the giveaway okay 
All right. So, oh, I forgot to put my piece back in there. Now, we got our meat done up for our croquette. Let me get. So, you want, if you're using a melon baller, you want about three balls of your um uh your dressing or stuffing whichever you're using i am doing roughly about four to five tablespoons okay mm. so die for all right And I'm just mixing that up. Oh, yeah. I'm making sure I get it. I'm making sure I get it. Didn't blend it like I got my meat because we gotta, in forming this croquette, you're forming basically a patty. And consistency, texture is the main thing. All right. So we've got the hardest part down. We've gotten all our ingredients to make our actual croquette. Except we need one egg to whisk, and that is for binding. Okay? That is to bind the meat and the other ingredients together so we can form our patties. Okay? All right. So, I got my egg. Let me get a little bowl. <clears throat> and we're going to do this. That would be so cool. What? I am going to use the same spoon that I already have because I don't want to dirty up anything else, and I'm going to be using the same spoon. Fancy damn one, okay? All right. Mm. All right. Move that out the way. Now. You can use any type of cracker. Some people use saltine. Some people use Cheez-Its. I am using Ritz that my daughter left me. What, what she left me. She ain't really leave me shit. She, she basically ain't you know. Which means I need to buy her some more than Ritz. All right. And I'm gonna combine that with breadcrumbs. Oh. Why don't y'all tell me I keep forgetting to put the damn blade back in here? I gotta have the blade in here, that's important. All right. Now I can put those in there. All right, and that one's done. broken down beautifully. I just need to form a crust. Cool. All right. So now we're ready to go. Heat up your skillet with extra virgin olive oil. Help me. You don't need very much of it. You need about uh, Maybe about three to four tablespoons to cover the bottom of the skillet so that you can put your croquettes in and flip on, on both sides so that it browns on both sides. Because remember, this is already cooked, so you are not cooking it. It's not raw. You are browning it, a.k.a. heating it the hell up. 
Don't burn this shit and be like, oh my God, it's dry. It's dry, motherfucker, because you tried to recook it when all you had to do was eat it up. That is what you're doing. You're cooking the egg element. That takes a matter of seconds. You don't, you don't need to go crazy, okay? You don't need to go crazy. Put this shit in here for 10, 15 minutes. Not at all. Just to add some savoriness and rejuvenate the meat natural liquid so it was juicy before it sat in the refrigerator thursday friday saturday sunday and monday i'm just adding the butter to help it become juicy again and to help it bind and to help it reheat as we sear the sides okay all right now I'm going to pour these out on the counter because I'm not about to dirty up a dish for my breadcrumbs or for my crumbs. I'm not about to do it. I want to make nice size patties. You see? Pat it on one side, pat it on the other. That's all I'm doing. And I'm going to set it to the side. I'm going to make the next couple of patties out of what we got here. Once my grease is heated back here, you want some? What up, Mr. Hurt? RJ Hurt in the building, y'all. The Book of Face and YouTube. Y'all, this he, he's one of the funniest comedians in the game. I love him. I watch his posts all the time, quite frequently. He is phenomenal. Hey, <laughs> you can find him on the book of face. I was thinking about, I still keep thinking about that one damn post where you, uh, he had posted a picture and it was of, I think it's called a, a G Wagon or Mercedes. Uh, I think that's what it's called. G Wagon. I don't, I don't know the actual name of that damn car, but I think it's called a G Wagon. And he was talking about how grateful he was for the year. And how God got him through it, um, and how he had, find, you know, got the vehicle of his dreams, blah blah blah, baby. And then it says something at the end of it because you don't find out to the end of the post, of course, that it's not his. And then it's like, I thank God for being able to post this picture. And like anybody reading this who thought it was mine, that's what you get, or something like that. The shit was hilarious. It still makes me giggle. It still makes me giggle. giggle. What up, Mr. Lane? I, it does. It still is fucking hilarious to me. I cannot get over it because I literally read it and I was excited for you. I was like, oh, look, my dude. I was excited. I was like, look, my dude. Look, my dude. He got his G-Way. My dumb ass. I got all the way to the end and saw that shit and I was like, oh, my God. I cannot stand him. Like, uh. Y'all guys got you gotta watch some of his videos. Like he goes in, he goes hard. You can find him on TikTok, you can find him on Facebook, you can find him on uh Instagram, you can find him on YouTube. He is all the way around, he is all the way live, he is super hilarious. And he's a newlywed and a good friend of mine whom I absolutely adore. All right. We got about five. Okay, it's out of that. Ah. Uh, uh. Y'all got to see some of his videos when he does the mother, the grandmother. I think it's the grandmother. No, it's the mom and the little boy and the grandma, I think, in one of them. It be. Y'all look him up. RJ Hurt. Y'all look him up. Y'all will see what I'm talking about. Then you come back to me and be like, Sai, I saw it. Oh, my God. I'm dead. Wait a minute. And I'm be like, yep, I know. I told you. You should have listened. All right. Cool. All right. There we go. I'm going to rinse my can off. Check on our potatoes. Hold on. You know what? I think we're going to 
gonna change skillets for this one, buddies. I think we're gonna go ahead and use our cast iron skillet for this one, buddies, okay? So hold on, let me go ahead and get that. I'm gonna put that up here onto the stove and I'm pour a little bit of our olive oil and we're gonna go ahead and use that right there. Hold on. All right. Oh, oh, this is what I am using. So you guys see, I am using Bertoli or no, nope, I'm using Violi this time. Shit, I use Bertoli for the grapeseed oil. I'm using Violi this time. It is extra virgin olive oil. And I put in enough just to cover the bottom. All right. I'm going to give that a few seconds, let that heat up, and we're going to go ahead. Um, thank you. What looks good? No, I'm just playing. What up? Um, I, I, how's that song go, boo? What up, something? What up? Uh, hey, so this month they got me listening to on YouTube, y'all. It's crazy. I mean, on... Uh, the uh, TikTok, TikTok. All right. So if y'all notice, I am washing out my bowl because we are going to reuse this. Okay. We are done with that part. So I'm going to remove this and get it out our way. Now we are going to repurpose one final thing. Hold on. So we made gravy on Thanksgiving to go with our dressing. It was a cranberry cream of mushroom. Okay. Now I'm going to repurpose the gravy. All I need to do to do this, get some plain yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. To go with our gravy, okay? I always pour that little bit of water that it creates off. Let me rinse this. All right. And stir my yogurt. I like to just mix it. It's like yogurt is like sour cream. Y'all know. You got to give it that one good stir when you open it, when you ain't use it. We're going to add one, two, three. Three scoops. Or three teaspoons. Okay. You are going to stir that together. Now, to heat this, notice I got it in a glass bowl, okay? To heat it, I'm going to sit it right on top of the potatoes as they finish up just to allow it to heat up. That will heat up for us, okay? And while that's doing that, we can start... So we got about 15 minutes in the show. We're going to go ahead and do our croquette. All right, we're running out of water in here. And these should be just about ready. All right. Turn your fan on low. Check on your grease. Now that we have it heated, now that we have our grease heated, we brought it down from medium high to right below medium. That way it doesn't burn, it just sears. Uh, 
And as the burner cools down, I'll show you guys what I mean. Can you see? Can you see the grease coming up or the smoke? So our grease is hot. I'm letting our burner come down from that medium high down to a nice medium. My counter was wet, so that's why you hear it sizzling. But it is granite, so I'm good to go. Bear with it a second. All right. As that smoke starts to die down, you hear the sizzle? And yes, this can still cook, even though it's not on the burner, because we have already heated it up. Okay? Now, your sizzle is starting to die down. Now we transfer it right back over. All right. This is just done. He didn't. He didn't took on the damn chair. Oh, oh, All right. So who's down to take a shot with me? I am ready to take it. A shot it if you're ready. You ready? You wanna take a shot? You wanna take a shot? All right. Hold on. I think I'm gonna go. No, I'm gonna do one of those. Okay. While those. I'm gonna do half, not the whole thing, because because it'll be all bad if I did the whole thing. Okay, it'll be all bad if y'all do the whole thing. Plus, I'm drinking that drink new. Mm. All right, here I come. All right, there we go. Y'all ready to take the shot? Yes, you do, Mr. Kurt. Sorry, you got me playing with my nipples. I'm trying to, sorry y'all, I got on seat. I got on my waist trainer and the actual shirt, but ugh. all right, ooh, all right, there we go. Um, to you, and to you, and to me. Uh-oh, don't pull over. And to me. Ready, one? Salud. 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 Oh, I got myself with that. Oh, wait. Oh, my one little head's coming out. All right, let me check our potatoes real quick. I need to see if they're ready for us, you guys. So, hold on. Bear with me just one second. Let me give them a good old stab. All right. I want to wear the egg clock. Um, let me think. Yeah, no. Wait, are they watching that? They say the sleep? Yeah. No, not for the past few hours, because he was up before when we first started the show. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. No, when he first started, when he, when he started the show, Zay was still asleep. Zay was up because that's when I started the, uh, that. I started it right before the show, and Zay Zay was awake doing a fit about it. Yeah, the, the so he's been asleep for like an hour. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Well, that, I understand that. Okay, never mind. Hi! Mr. Comedian is on the YouTube Facebook or face. What well, happened? It is Riot the Comedian. Okay. So I told y'all RJ Heard. That's RJ Heard on Facebook. That is RJ Heard on um, Instagram. On YouTube, it is Riot the Comedian. Riot the Comedian. Hey, what's up? Hey. All right. Oh, I need a spatula because it's almost time that we flip our salmon croquettes. Yes, baby. Yeah, if, if Lisa ain't watching it, okay. all right. Let me get. Hey, 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 Bookie, Wilkie. I gotta flip these croquettes. I um, I did not realize that it was right, the comedian. So I'm making sure I tell them over here, because, yeah. I had messed that up. I look, look, I'm gaining weight. It's horrible. Oh, goodness. I gotta work, I gotta, I, So, I am going to put our breading back up. And the only reason I can do this, uh, thanks on me, but I feel like, no, somebody on the book uh, or on the book of face, somebody on the book of face told me, one of my friends, Mr. Bell and Mr. Wright said that I'm getting thicker than gumbo. Homie, I was like, yo, oh my God. They was like, yo, you got to slow down. You can't be eating everything. I was like, damn. I was like, you serious? I said, am I gaining weight? They was like, yeah, you gaining weight, homie. I was like, oh, cold peace. Like, what do you say to that? What can you say to that other than, oh shit, let me slow my ass down because now I'm getting fat. And bitch, can't, I can't do fat. I can't, I can't get, now listen. Hold on, before anybody say nothing. There's nothing wrong with being thick and there's nothing wrong with being big bone. I don't care. You can be fat, you can be big bone, you can be thick, you can be whatever you want to be. You just gotta be what's comfortable for you and with you, okay? I was 99 pounds till 27 years old and that was when I gave birth to my first child. So, you can imagine. 140, 150 pounds ain't what I'm used to. And it's not what I want to do. I don't give a shit to be looking like none of these Instagram um, video vixen bitches. That's not for me. I ain't trying to push my titties back up to where they were before I had them. I'm just trying to make sure that this stays in check with what I'm capable of doing. My thighs were not built to carry more ass than the handcuff that I got. It wasn't built to carry more stomach. It wasn't built to carry more ass. It, you know, it, it was. They not equipped for all that shit. Okay, then they just not. They weren't. They wasn't. I, they weren't prepared. They weren't prepared. So don't judge me when I say that I don't personally want to get fat. I'm not calling no motherfucking here fat. I'm not calling you shit other than your motherfucking name or my homie or the person that I love. That's it. To each day own, love yourself, learn how to love yourself and the skin you in. That's what I'm doing. I'm embracing the thickness. I understand there's parts of me that just are there now due to children. And 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 that's cool. But there are other parts of me I didn't agree to that shit. Okay? And I ain't for the shit and I ain't with the shit and don't judge me about the shit. Okay. Okay. 
You gaining weight? Yeah. <laughs> they say when you get married, you gain weight. You know that, right? Just like they told me when I quit smoking, I was going to gain weight. I'm three months in and not, no smoking, and I've definitely gained weight. Def like, definitely. And I ain't had an ab since. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What, baby? Yeah, baby. Mike, don't be a little brother to your big sister. Yes, you're going to be a little brother to your big sister. Right now. You're going to be a little brother to your big sister. She's going to beat him up. She's going to beat him up now. I ain't going to say shit about it. I'm going to let him get beat up because y'all heard me say, don't be a little brother to your big sister. And y'all see what he keep doing, right? Y'all hear him. All right, so we boiled, but I wanted to make sure we ended the show. Uh -uh. What? And plated the food. So I just went ahead and finished them out. Micah, she only gonna, he ain't gonna keep playing with you, baby. My daughter is not gonna keep playing with you. Oh, so the last of the butter that the last of the butter in the jar, I don't want to waste it. So I literally just used it to mash the potatoes in. And yes, I got more butter because I cooked with butter, like Miss Julia Child says. You know, Micah, she gonna beat the living shit out you. You just keep on playing with her. You don't believe that me, Gleason? I don't even get it. I, I can't tell you. I told you to stop fucking with him. I told you. Okay, don't kill him. Don't kill him. I, I value having my children. All right. So we got five minutes to plate the show or to plate the food. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and put these in to our skillet. And I'm going to just pat them some more, make sure they kind of stay together. You Stop! Rule of thumb about a croquette, let me tell you something. No matter how much patting you do, no matter how much binding you use, a croquette, just like a salmon croquette or a crab cake, is meant to separate. It's not going to stay. You'll get it into one patty form, but it's meant to because of the dryness of the ingredients. Okay. Um, so let me finish this up so we can play. She's killing him. I just hear. Did you stop? No. You did it. You can't do it. Yep, she's killing him. Alright, let me get some soft pepper. Please stop. Then you stop. Fine. Why are we unlocking the door? I'm unlocking. I was unlocking. Oh, you put the alarm on. Yeah. All right. There we go. That is done. So now we are going to go ahead and plate. Oh, hi. I, now, why I can't get this back on? All right. Let's put this up so we can play. Don't kill him, Lily. I'm just gonna beat the shit out my child. Um, all right. So we got two of our croquettes done. That's our turkey croquette completed. Turkey croquette.
complete it. All right. And this is a little, tiny, simple dish. Okay? You know what? I do want to make one other thing. And I thought I was done using that. I'm not. Hold on, y'all. I want to add one other thing just for color. I told her to stop, but you... I do it. What? I said I did not eat these Now come on. Come on. All, right. All right. Don't. She gonna kill. Me. Don't kill my child, baby. Why are you I am using some parsley, and I'm gonna make a little aioli just to sprinkle onto the bottom of the plate. But I'm using, instead of cilantro, I'm using parsley, garlic, lemon juice, and grapeseed oil. Okay? And I'm too close to it. Sit down like a flea. I was just getting my remote. You was going to do anything you could to piss off this. She's going to beat you up again. Alright, so I'm going to do about a teaspoon of lemon juice, you guys. There we go. And same thing, about a teaspoon of our grapeseed oil. This will go on the bottom of the plate while our croquettes finish. And we are done. And just another little teaspoon. And just another little teaspoon. I'm going to add a little cayenne. And we got one more done. Sorry. I'm going to add a little cayenne and a little lemon pepper. All right, there we go, and all right. Just making sure my sides are good. Oh, excuse me. And I'm letting that blend, and we are now about to cook.
Okay, what happened to your blunt screwdriver? It's in. It's in the room. Where in the room? With the drill and my screws and uh, by my dress. Okay. All right. So I am just like that. We are done there. I am going to take my red mashed potato. And just make a little pile. And then I'm going to get my croquette. Okay. I'm going to drizzle my dressing gravy right here on the top and I'm a garnish and we are all done so y'all get ready to do your shot grab your shot let's get ready to go y'all ready to get up out of here hey Mr. Bill y'all ready to get up out of here we're five minutes past all right to drizzle. Our cranberry and Greek yogurt. Gravy right there on top. And just for the sake of fun, I am going to add A couple cranberries and a little bit of parsley. And that is shot time it is. That is our plate on a reused or renewed Thanksgiving dinner. A cranberry gravy with a red mashed potato and a turkey and dressing croquette. All right, let's do this. Y'all ready? Oh, shot time. All right. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Good. I am too because we're done. We're done, we're done. All right. So, from you to me, from me to you, shall it always be just us two. Salud. 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 Oh.
All right. Don't forget, click the link. Give the link out to anybody you know that could be a single parent, single grandparent, or single foster parent that are looking for help in the holiday um, season for December. We are literally about 10 days away now from the close of the contest. They can submit their entry via Facebook or via email. We are looking for the entries and they can only do one. They can do video or written 175 words. I will talk to you guys tomorrow where I show you guys how to turn your turkey into a very, very, very good soup. All right, so then, love you guys. Salud, salud. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.